Hello everyone and welcome to Hashtag That. I'm Teresa Santos. And I'm Anthony DeCandia, aka The Real Aunt Dec. Let's start with some of our funniest tweets tonight. I forgot my iPad at my apartment. Hashtag first world problems. Hashtag I need more Apple products. I need an iPad so bad. Yes. I have to wait another week for Hashtag The Walking Dead. Hashtag first world problems. Hashtag I don't watch Walking Dead so who cares. Hashtag is my favorite but... show. I care so much. Ooh. I want more money, but I'm too lazy to work. Hashtag first world problems. Definitely explains my life. That's like me. I don't even have twenty dollars in my account. Yeah, that's hard. I can't even. T I like sixteen dollars. It's not even noon, and I'm already on low battery. Hashtag first world problems. Yeah, happens to me. Apple. Yeah. I, I charge iPhone. my phone at least nine times a day. Probably. I charge it. Like, I'm actually charging it right now backstage. I'm sure so. you are. <laughs> Well, Gabby's here with our always popular who to follow and even better who to unfollow. So, Gabby, what do you have for us? Hello, everyone. I'm Gabriella Morales here with tonight's who to follow and who to unfollow. All right, so I've been kind of in a funk lately, so I've been continuing on my search for some funny tweets, which led me to the very obvious choice of Sweet Brown at I'm Sweet Brown. For those of you who obviously live under a rock and don't know who Sweet Brown is, she is another addiction or she's another addition to the funniest news interview collection ever. Her catchphrase known by pretty much everyone um, anywhere, ain't nobody got time for that, was just one of the phrases <laughs> that keeps people talking. She's, she's hilarious. Continuing on my adventures, my friends thought I would, it would be a good idea to go on a school trip to a live taping of the Jerry Springer show. Like, what's better than Trash TV? Um, obviously, a live taping of Trash TV. Duh. So, um, I will admit, I had watched a little bit of Jerry Springer back in the day, but I'm not even going to lie, seeing that show firsthand live in action was probably the dumbest thing that I've ever been to, but I loved every second of it. So, thanks for getting me out of that funk, Jer Bear. All right. Now that we all now we all know that the Oscars took place this past weekend and obviously some of those celebs annoyed me to the point where I just had to go on to my Twitter account and straight up just delete them because they were so annoying. So first, my unfollow was kind of a sad one. I had to delete my fantasy husband number four, Channing Tatum. Um, as most of you may have heard, he and his step-up co-star wife are expecting their first child together. And as cute and sweet as that may be for them, I'm really happy and all, but like he ruined my whole life plan to like marry him. So I'm kind of bitter and I'm really upset. So I'm gonna have to X out Channing Tatum, sorry. Um, and finally, we have our second unfollow of the night, and this one is going to be going to someone I used to love, and I used to watch all their movies and everything she was in, um, The Greatest and Hathaway. I know many of you are probably freaking right now, but I swear if I have to I'll watch her give one more acceptance speech where she does that whole like, oh, I'm so excited that I'm winning right now. This is so great. And like she fake cries. I'm going to I'm going to lose it. Um, I'm tired of hearing it. And I just I can't watch her anymore. I'm sorry. Um, but that sums up the night for me. So see you guys next week. Back to you, Teresa. Wow, I love Anne Hathaway. What are you saying? She is I so I don't fine. like Anne Hathaway, so I agree. She's Catwoman. She looked great and amazing. I know. But I love her. One of our trending topics this week is hashtag beat Yale. We beat Yale two weeks ago, and here are some of our favorite tweets from that night. The Jones twins were actually one person at birth, but the doctors split them apart because there was too much talent for one person. Hashtag beat Yale. That's, That's funny. pretty funny. They're really, <laughs> That's they're really funny. good. Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> Most little kids check under their bed at night for monsters. Yale hockey players check under their bed for Eric Hartzell. Hashtag beat Yale. That's really funny. That's funny. He's like really good. But and I won. I'm, I'm glad we won. So. I know. Woo. Always here. But yeah. anyways, we have to run to a commercial now. So we'll be back in a little bit with um, our spring break topic. Stick with us. Hashtag. I could really go for a Ray and Mike sub right now. Come to Ray and Mike's and try our Philly chicken with cheese for just over $4, giant cheesesteak subs, and mouth-watering boar's head sandwiches for as low as $4.75. Cue cash accepted just a mile down the road on Whitney, here at Ray and Mike's. Spring break is at the end of this week, and we are beyond excited for it. I'm so excited. I'm going home Thursday. I'm being super lean and working over spring break. I babysit, so tell everyone that you know that I'm available for business. 
<laughs> and I'm not doing anything either, but I do have fun arts and crafts playing with my mom. She sends me these Pinterest things, and it's kind of cute, but kind of weird. But I mean, I love you, mom. So I'm really excited to do that. I'm so jealous of all the people going on cruises, and, um, Bahamas, Cancun, Mexico. I've never had a cruise, so I'm really jealous on that. And I never had like a real spring day. I'm kind of afraid of boats, though. Like, I'm afraid if it sinks. You're afraid of boats. They said the Titanic they have, wasn't going to sink. Can you swim? Yeah. And you saw what happens to that boat. Well, it's people gone. lived. If you share the door, you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sharing share the door. The door is <laughs> for me. Whatever. All myself. Well, make sure you guys tweet at us over spring break so we can feature your tweets on the show. And up next, right now, is our Cuties of the Week. And I chose Bradley Cooper, and I mean, he's so hot, and everything about him is perfect. And now he's dating Jennifer Lawrence, who I also love, and I think it's perfect that they're together. And oh my god, I just love everything about him. He's so hey, hot. Good thing. That's who I chose for Cutie of the Week. She is the girl on fire. She's beautiful, <laughs> down to earth, and only there's only two year age difference, so I might have a chance. She's not going to cougar for you. She might. No. Don't no, say that. No. <laughs> Sorry. Well, whatever. But um, Elijah um, brought us a new segment, which is called Question That, and where he goes around and asks random people questions, and it's so funny. So we're going to show you that right now. Enjoy. Welcome to Question That. I'm Elijah Westbrook. Now let's go get some answers. <laughs> All right, so I'm here in the student center with... Angelique Fisk. Rebecca Castagna. Josiah. Moses. <laughs> Nicholas Passell. Okay. Natalie Randazzo. I'm Danielle. Okay, and Danielle chose to do QU Trivia. All right, so the first question is, what is the undergraduate tuition price at Quinnipiac? I think it's around 52000 Hug a stranger. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, can I hug a stranger? Hi. Hug a stranger? <laughs> hug a stranger. I don't know you. I've never met you in my life. Yay! <laughs> Chose rapid round finish the lines. So that means that you have to finish the sentence either to the song or the famous expression. All right, I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, and um, you chose to name all the residence halls on the Mount Carmel campus, so go ahead. Yes, we have Mountain View, Troop. On average, how much money should you spend on your meal plan per week? If you have a full meal plan, I guess you should be spending around like a hundred ish. Larson Pearl. How long does it take the average person to fall asleep? Like thirty minutes, maybe. Oh. Correct answer was seven minutes. Just village. <laughs> hey, I just met you. And this is crazy, but here's my number. So call me maybe. Hill. Name the uh, three oh, presidents of the United States before Obama. Um, George W. Bush, Clinton, and then George Bush Senior. Yep. Irma and Dana. What does the number 57 on a bottle of Heinz ketchup represent? Uh, the 57 ingredients? I don't know. Nope. <laughs> it actually doesn't stand for anything, but oh, good, okay. good guess though. What is the basketball team's mascot? Boomer the Bobcat. Uh, Coca-Cola used to be the most popular brand name in the world. What brand overlooked it in the mid-1990s as the most widely recognized? Pepsi? I don't know. It was actually McDonald's. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can believe that, too. Yeah, yeah. All right, so my questions have finally been answered, and now it's time for me to make up some new ones. I'm Elijah Westbrook for Question That. It was really <laughs> the best. I love that segment. I hope we get more of it. Yeah, that was a really good one. So well, When we come back, we're going to have our Bachelor of the Week, Chris Mann. So stay tuned. I could really go for a Ray and Mike sub right now. Come to Ray and Mike's and try our Philly chicken with cheese for just over $4, giant cheesesteak subs, and mouth-watering boar's head sandwiches for as low as $4.75. Cue cash accepted just a mile down the road on Whitney here at Ray and Mike's. Welcome back, everyone. So I'm here with Chris Mann. Um, I don't know if you all know him, but he's in Dell, clearly. And he's going to answer some questions that we have about spring break. So spring break is this Friday. And what are your thoughts about being in a relationship over spring break? Um, I think as long as you're mature enough to actually handle a relationship and uh, kind of stay faithful to uh, you know, your boyfriend or girlfriend, then spring break's not really that big of a deal. OK, I agree. <laughs> That's cool. Um, it's all about being faithful. And what are your opinions on finding someone over spring break? Like you're at the beach, you're doing your thing, and you like 
do you think that's just like a one-time thing or can it go like should it evolve into something more yeah i don't really know about spring break relationships much <laughs> um or relationships in general for that matter but um i don't know i can't really see a spring break thing working out but who knows okay so you know just have a good time guys so <laughs> Um, this is a little different, but do you think it's okay for a girl to ask the guy out on a date? Or oh, absolutely. Should, oh, yeah. okay. What do you, how do you like girls to ask you out? Um, I mean, they could just come up and ask me. That'd probably be the best way to do it. <laughs> they should. I mean, if you have a little bit of creativity, it's always good. But, okay. Um. Awesome. And, um, like what do you like to do? Are you doing anything for spring break? Yeah, I'm going to the uh, great town of Brooklyn, New York. Ooh, it's going to be really tropical and nice. So nice and get a nice fun. tan, get your <laughs> oh, tan yeah, on. Oh, yeah, absolutely, with all the snow that we're getting. So yeah. it'll be fun. <laughs> awesome. So um, do you want to tell them your Twitter handle so sure. they can tweet at you? It's uh, 1-M-A-N-N-5. Awesome. Everyone, make sure you tweet at Chris Mann, Definitely. and thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. I could really go for a Ray and Mike sub right now. Come to Ray and Mike's and try our Philly chicken with cheese for just over $4, giant cheesesteak subs, and mouth-watering boar's head sandwiches for as low as $4.75. Q Cash accepted just a mile down the road on Whitney here at Ray and Mike's. Welcome back, everyone. And I mean, Chris gave some really good insight. Yeah, so, I agree with mostly everything you said. Yeah, what are your thoughts on like finding someone over spring break? You're only there for a week, so have fun while you're there. That's my thought. Yeah, but I feel like that too as a girl. Even I mean, whatever, you know. Yolo. Yolo, Bogo. Okay, so now we're on to our Instagram of the week. This week's Instagram of the week is by Andrew D six one four. It's a really great picture of the school, and it looks perfect. If you want to have your Instagram be Instagram of the week, hashtag that QU, like put a hashtag, then write that QU. Hashtag that QU. On your Instagram, and we'll find it, and you'll possibly be featured on our show. So make sure to send your pictures, because I know everyone does Instagram. I see it all the time. Beautiful yeah. pics of the school. So hashtag that QU. Yeah, sure. definitely. But also, make sure to follow me at Teresita, T-E-R-E-S-I-T-A-A-715, and tweet at us, and make sure you tweet at hashtag that QU. Make sure you follow me at RealAntDeck, follow at hashtag that QU, and follow at Q30Television for more updates. And, and keep tweeting. You could be on our show. That's Have our fun. show. See you next week. Bye. Bye.